Good afternoon, YouTube. Good evening, really. It's nearly half past six. Believe it or not, it is day 23 of 28 Polish beers in 28 days. I can't believe we've been here for 23 days. Got less than, well, it's Thursday today. We've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Got four days left and then early on Tuesday morning I fly back to the UK with the children. Kinga will be going back in the car with her sister and brother-in-law because obviously we have uh, Henyak, our new French bulldog, so she's taking him back in the car. But me and the children, and oh, that's on Sunday morning. So I have Sunday and Monday with the children here in, uh, in Wrocław. Welcome to our extremely messy kitchen. Um, beer number 23. Now, this beer I'm a fan of. Uh, this is Miłosław. Miłosław. I really enjoy the Niefiltrowane with the white creamy coloured label. I think I did a video on that already. Somebody rec recommended me the Chmielowe. Um, Chmiel hops. So like the hop, beers from the hop. Um, I looked in the shop today and I couldn't find it. So I took this one, which is also Miłosław. Miłosław, przepraszam, Miłosław. Sosnowe Apa. So, like Miłosław's version of uh, American Pale Ale, I assume, this is 4.8%. It is extremely cold, because I've had it in the freezer for probably an hour. Uh, so for those of you that don't know, Miłosław is a town in Poland, obviously, that is where this is from. Browar uh, Fortuna. I like this brewery. They've got some some nice beers, and I particularly like the Miłosław beers. Um, I've not poured this yet. There looks like there's some sediment maybe at the bottom of the bottle. Let's have a look. Don't think I've had this before. I've had APAs and I've had lots of the Miłosław 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 lots of Miłosław beer before, but. I don't think I've ever had this one. Yeah, it's very cold. Probably colder than it should be served. Um, but it looks nice. And there's a little bit of sediment there. And like I said, when I was doing the video about the Chinichne or any kind of beer that's got some sediment that settles at the bottom, always just leave a little bit in the bottom. Uh, give it a swish. And this actual, this bottle actually says Squa, yeah? So you serve it in a glass rather than drinking it from the bottle so that you can get everything out of it. So I always do that, give it a swish on the bottom and then lob it in. That way you get everything out of the beer. <sighs> Traditional little suck there. Um, so, relatively, um, it's not clear. Definitely freezing cold. Quite gassy, a few bubbles. Whether the camera can pick that up. Looks nice. I'm hoping it's gonna be a nice beer. Had an APA yesterday as well, which was the Zhibiets. Uh If you saw that video, um, this is obviously the Miroslav take on, a, on an APA. Ooh, it's cold. And the weather here is not that warm the last two days. Actually, the first time last night, I went out to meet a, a guy for a couple of beers in the town and it was the first time I'd actually worn long trousers, a pair of jeans since we came here. We're wearing shorts every day because it's been so warm. But today we went out for lunch to an Italian restaurant here in Brasov. And yesterday I went out for a few beers and we went to Spish, Pod Papugami and Casa della Musica. Uh, it's a guy that I'd met through um, the Super Community Dad Facebook page. He lives here in Brasov with his Polish wife and family. Um, and we talked been talking and we decided to meet for a beer last night and just uh, compare our situations, I suppose. They're fairly similar. Anyway, we went to those three really good places that are great for kind of atmosphere and in the main Rinek and Rotswaf. Um What was I saying? I don't know. This beer is really nice. Very nice. I'm, I'm liking the APAs, the American Pale Ales. I like the IPAs as well, the Indian Pale Ales. I uh, quite enjoy them. Um, but the American Pale are quite nice as well. Some of them are great, some of them not so great. But this particular one from Miłosław, they don't really disappoint me. I really want to find this Chmielowa, Chmielowy? 
Mil Miloswaf. Um, maybe they've got it in um, like the local shopping centre, but we've only got a few days left, so I'm hoping I can find that before I go. Um, but it wasn't available in that our our local shop today. It's a really good shop here. Sells lots of Czech and Polish beers. It's nice. I've actually got a couple more beers in the fridge today because um, tomorrow we've got a very busy day planned. We will be going. King is a big Jurgel fan, speed, motorcycle speedway, and they've got the Grand Prix here in Wrocław um, on Friday and Saturday. There's one on Friday, one on Saturday. Obviously, due to coronavirus and everything, the uh, speedway uh, organisers of the Grand Prix are... Uh, trying to reduce the travel in this year. Normally we go to the event in uh, Cardiff in Wales in the United Kingdom, but that was canceled in July. So unfortunately we couldn't go to that. Uh, but luckily they've got uh, Friday and Saturday, two different GPs here in, in Wrocław and we've got tickets to go tomorrow night. So we've got quite a busy day and a busy evening planned. So it may well be that I make another video tonight with one of the other very different beers I've got in the fridge and then uh, post that ready for tomorrow night because I'm, I'm going to be a little bit a little bit busy tomorrow. And if I say I'm gonna do 28 Polish beers in 28 days, then I will make sure I do and I won't miss a day. Hopefully, we'll see. But only a few days left to go. So um, that's it for today. Browar Fortuna, Miłosław, Sosnowa, Sosnowe, APA, APA, American Pale Ale. Um, Yeah, serve it between eight to 12 degrees. Mine's much colder than that. And serve it in a glass, as I mentioned. So yeah, once again, if you get any beers and you notice a little bit of sediment in the bottom, if it's not like a clear lager or something like that, something with any kind of sediment, a bit like a wine, I suppose, that hasn't, uh, that's been in a, a demijohn, a big bottle for a while, and some of the sediment sinks to the bottom. Um, just leave a little bit in there, swish it around and pour it in a glass. Try not to drink it out of a bottle because uh, you won't get the most out of the beer. Anyway, that's it for today. Miłosław Sosnowe Apa, APA. Thanks for watching this video. Um, give us a like. It would be nice to get the subscribers up again. Um, bearing in mind, I hadn't made a video for over a year, and now I've made uh, 23 beer videos, plus one video about uh, how you know you're dating a Polish woman or you're married to a Polish woman, which seems to be quite popular on YouTube. So uh, go and check that out if you do have a Polish partner. You might find that uh, um, amusing, let's say. Um, uh, and leave a comment if you can. Please let me know if there's any different beers I should try. There are, I'm trying to find the ones that have been recommended been recommended to me. Uh, there was another one today, I can't remember the name. I can't remember the name, but I took a photo with it and I looked for it in the shop and I asked the guy and then he said, no, we don't have that, unfortunately. So I'm doing my best to find the beers that you guys are recommended to me. Um, that is it. I will see you tomorrow or I will pre-record a video tonight to post tomorrow uh, whilst I'm at the Grand Prix. Um, give us a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already so you can see all the videos that we release. And one of the uh, guys watching my YouTube channel uh, kindly commented to me regarding how to actually make my Super Commuting Dad link work in the description. Um, thank you for that. I've done that and now it works. I'm a bit of a technophobe, not very good with modern technology. Uh, I can just about record a video and I'm just learning how to do very basic thumbnails on my YouTube videos. Um, so yeah, pop over to the supercommutingdad.com if you can. Check out the blog. Uh, there's numerous articles on there about uh, all things Polish from this English guy's perspective, um, food, relationships, and the city of Wrocław. There's a very popular uh, post on there about how I feel like I'm having a love affair with Poland, I'm cheating on the UK um, because I talk about it so much. Uh, but there's a few fun articles on there, some short, some longer ones. Um, anyway, I'm doing my normal thing of waffling on for nine minutes. So I'm gonna shut up and I will See you guys tomorrow. Bye.